This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2. I'm going to be playing with ABC Draco again because, Jesus, man, I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck. This deck is a lot of fun to me to play. Um, okay, well then. So what I've got access into here is I've got Twin Twister, which I can utilize to some degree, but looks like the main plan is going to be to set Rotation and set Union Hanger and set Gateway to Chaos and hope that my opponent doesn't have a real answer to it and that it also hinders them. Um, I'm having a lot of fun playing this deck, honestly. like This deck is just really good at doing what it needs to do in an efficient manner, and I really like that. I appreciate that about this deck. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another copy of C to my hand, and I'm going to normal summon this C um, to forecast that I don't have another C in my hand, and I'm going to put a B on it uh, because the B will get a search for A when, it, uh, when the C tries to get killed, and then the C can summon C from hand. If B dies, it'll add A, um, I'll be able to do a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things as far as how I could structure these things around, and I can just try to not get hit by this ash block, uh, by, uh, I can try to not get hit with cards by hiding behind the ash blossom and the twin twister, potentially. Um, still by far, uh, by far a favorable position. Um, Melody of Awakening Dragon, okay. Uh, so we're playing against Blue Eyes. We will 100% take an Ash Blossom on that. We take those. That is a plus one. We will take that for free. Um, so we'll we'll definitely we'll work with that. We'll hope that that just like bricked his hand a significant amount. Now he's summoning Gofu. All right. Uh, but yeah, so like this deck is very characterized by having to open field spells or gadgets to work well. Which there's three diagrams. There's three terraformings, there's three set rotations, there's three union hangers, that's 12 field spells, then there's three of each gadget in the build that I'm playing. I have no idea how the hell I continuously not open, like, not open well. Um, I don't get it. Um, did he just not summon tokens? Oh, he did summon tokens, he made them into a proxy dragon. I see. I was, I was being blocked by the prompt, but... Level Eater. Alright, Level Eater on the Gofu. So, what is... Hmm... Weird. I would have thought that would have been your first play, because then you could have made Link Karibo. Or maybe your deck is just TCG legal. I mean, I could respect that. Um, there's no real bearing on who plays TCG and OCG or not. Um, so, like, I mean, I've had to play through fucking, like, number 41s a couple times. Uh, so, like, there's that. So you're just doing all this extra shit in a Blue Eyes deck? Seems odd. <laughs> <laughs> it seems odd. Am I the only one that thinks that this is odd? I mean, okay, so he gets a synchro here into another Sohaya. And then he gets to bring back the Sohaya. I mean, this is all really cool. I remember when Armageddon Knight Gofu was like the play that you wanted to be making like every every game in like Quasar decks and shit. But at the same time, I'm curious where this goes. Because I've never seen somebody pull off Gofu level leader post links so I don't know what it does I know you can he's got a rank 5 that he can make here um, no he can't make a rank 5 he has to make another thing so Excel Synchron alright which could send Jet Synchron um, upping its level by one this is such a weird shit that I've seen this is a blue eyes deck but he's playing Gofus and level eaters in this stuff he has to be playing Link Karibo there's no way you can tell me this man's not playing Link Karibo no way at all. Okay, so he decreased its level by one to send Jet Synchron. I think that was a mistake. I think you're supposed to increase it. Because then it goes from four to five. And then you get to bring back the Jet Synchron. You get to Synchro into Formula, and then you get to do stuff. What are you doing here? Crystal Wing? Okay. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I legitimately have no idea what's happening. Um, let's see. So Haya comes back because he banished the other one. The Jet Synchron gets to summon itself. Uh, he gets to make Formula. 
And then he makes a level 7? But what level 7 do you make? Like, clear wing? Hmm. I'm confused. I'm confused as to how this goes. I'm, conf I'm more confused that this is a blue eyes synchron deck. And then, on top of that, let's add another layer of confusion that is actually working. Um, but okay, so Gofu plus Mathematician or Armageddon Knight lets you at least make Decode Talker Crystal Wing, and that's definitely something that I feel like I'd like to explore in a future video. Um, that's definitely something I think I'd like to explore. Okay, so he's doing it on the Sohaya, not the Crystal Wing. See, I thought you would do it on the Crystal Wing so that you could bring it back and then synchro into, like, Tatsunoko and then synchro with Sohaya. It's because this Sohaya, I don't think, is being treated as a tuner. Um, okay, into a Coral Dragon. And then the Coral Dragon is going to discard a card to destroy a card. What are you going to destroy, is my question. Um, he's destroying the back row, okay, fine with that, 100%. I'm really confused as to what's going on. And that's not something that happens too terribly often, but at the same time I'm actually just super kind of impressed because literally this was Gofu plus Mathematician is what did this. So that could also be Gofu plus Armageddon Knight because the Mathematician didn't matter because he just used it to make Decode Talker. So, like, this is something I might want to explore later, because at the very minimum, just Gofu Mathematician has already made Decode Talker, has made Crystal Wing, and has made a Coral Dragon. So, that's cool. Um, what did he do? He used Sage on this. Oh, he's going to banish my B. That's kind of irritating. Um, hmm. Alright, well, this looks like game. <laughs> What? This looks like game! This attacks over this, or anything attacks over this, and then if he negates this thing's effect with Crystal Wing to prevent me from summoning this other C out of my hand, I just lose on spot because this is 3k, this is 33, this is 24, and this is that. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Half of, literally all of this was done with, uh, with just Gofu Mathematician. And then some discards were happening, and then draws were happening off formula. Uh, but, yeah, whoa. Kind of impressed? I don't know if I should be impressed, though. I think that you could have gone even further as well. Like, I think that, well, wait, no, you had the Coral Dragon here, so never mind. I was thinking, like, you could make Proxy Dragon and then put the Clear Wing here. Like, over here, where the Proxy Dragon points to, but... Yeah, Deco Talker attacks this. Um, let's see if he negates it. He it, Negating it is 100% the right move. Um, if he doesn't negate it... There we go. Okay, so yeah, he's negating it, so now I just lose. I thought that that Ash Blossom was going to practically end his turn, but it turns out he's not playing a conventional Blue Eyes deck. He summoned nine cards out of his extra deck this turn, and is killing me. So this is going to be a weird one. How far are we into this recording? Eight minutes? Seven minutes? I don't know. I don't know how long I was running before I actually got the game to take hold. <laughs> so, yeah, I just lose this. Yeah, I'm at 900. This crystal is attacking. Wow, okay. So, that's interesting. That's something I want to explore in the future, is Gofu, um, Gofu plus Armageddon Knight, or Gofu plus Math. Alright, so, I'm going to be going first. I'm putting in Imperial Order 100%. Uh, I'm taking out the Twin Twisters, because they don't seem to matter. Uh, I'm going to put in Union Scramble, because that card goes in when you go first. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I can side in for this matchup to be in my favor. Um, you know what? I'm going to side this in, too. I'm going to put in the Magnet Reverse, too, just because it allows me to have access into if he outs my buster or whatever I could just summon it with magnet reverse so union scramble and magnet reverse are both cards that are good for me so we'll go with this so I'm gonna go first again hopefully I open something more resembling of a combo and not like multiple ash blossoms there we go this works to a degree uh, this would be infinitely better if there was a B in my hand but whatever 
Uh, beggars will not be choosers in this uh, in this house. So I will normal summon this. I will normal summon the C. I'm gonna play diagram on the C to special the A out of my hand and put the trap set. Um, or yeah, so we'll pop C and we'll get access to masterpiece. And then C's effect will activate, summoning A. And then from here, I'm going to activate this diagram, popping the magnet reverse. I can't believe that with all the gadgets that I play in this deck, that I'm still breaking with it. This is actually kind of pissing me off to a, to a little bit of a degree. Because it only happens when I crank up the recording software. Only. It never happens any other time. Ever. It's literally, I start record. I play this deck for hours, playtesting it, learning it, learning the intricate plays and shit, and tweaking things to my liking to be a little bit more, you know, conducive to consistency enabling and making plays and stuff. And, like, the things work fine. They work great. But then, <laughs> but then, everything goes to shit. Um... So I've got this, which I can use to summon Masterpiece, which is something that I'm going to have to work with. So he's trading in a Gamma Seal. Yeah, I mean, sure. That either means he has a duplicate Kaiju, or that means that he uh, that he uh, understands that he's not going to be able to summon... He's not going to be able to Kaiju in the Masterpiece until it's too late. Um, okay, so he's got Gofu, which means that as soon as he summons Mathematician... As soon as he summons Decode Talker, I think, I pop it. Uh, because at that point, he still has Gofu on the field. And the only thing he can really do is... Well, no, he can go into Sohaya, he can bring it back. Um, there's a few different things that he has access to. It depends on what happens here. Uh, I don't like this. This is scaring me. This is scaring me a bit, boys. Don't want to deal with this one. This is actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> I don't know when the right time to play this is. Yeah, Armageddon Knight, alright. Uh, Armageddon Knight to send uh, your level eater. And so I think I pop the the first Sohaya that he makes, I think I pop. Um, actually, I think I pop here. Because if I pop here, it forces him to go into Decode Talker, and then he has to have a Blue Eyes card to continue play. But n those aren't tuners, so I think this is I think this is the play. Unless he has like Twin Twister or a Cosmic Cyclone. Well, Twin Twister wouldn't really help because it would still trigger it to destroy a card. Um, but Cosmic Cyclone would be. Uh, uh, I don't want to deal with the Cosmic right now. Please don't. I'm not in the business of getting Savage 2 would on my own videos. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's happened in the past, but not trying to exploit that here and now. Not, not today, good sir. What's well, taking him so long for waiting? Is my question. Please don't disconnect, because Christ, God knows I take long enough trying to get people to play for these videos. Um, so there's that, and then this effect, and then this effect. So I'll activate both effects, the A can add the C back to my hand. This can destroy the Gofu. So now he can't summon another Gofu. Um, and he hasn't made Deco Talker yet, so he can't, like, shirk the blame for anything. Uh, and so now all he can do is make Deco Talker, and, uh, and then he can make, like, Link Karibo. But at the same time, I don't see that being too worth... I don't know. But so this C is in my hand now, which means I can destroy it with Dragon Diagram next turn. If I draw into Union Hanger or B, then this is very good, because that means I'll be able to put ABC Dragon Buster on the field. I'm playing it so few cards compared to him. <laughs> but one of them is a Masterpiece. So, as long as he doesn't have the other Kaiju, because we've already seen him trade in a Gamma Seal, then I'm hoping that fuck, it means he had another Kaiju. Alright, well, he's got another Kaiju, now can he... Ex continue his play. Um, knowing my luck, it's going to be like Soul Charge for one, for the Gofu. <laughs> um, 
Actually, no, you'd soul charge for two here. You'd definitely soul charge for at least blue eyes and go for. Uh, what is this? Veril Lord Dragon. What does this thing even do? This looks like an OCG card. Neither player can target this card with monster effects. Okay. Once per turn, quick effect. You can target one face-up monster on the field. It loses 500 attack and defense. Um, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. At the start of the damage tip of this card attacks opponent's monster, you can take control of that opponent's monster to your zone this card points to, but send it to the graveyard during the end phase of the next turn. Alright. So... Okay. So that's not really too relevant of an effect that I need to worry about, but... I can't target that with monster effect. That's kind of important. Kind of. Only slight. Um, so I have to deal with this in some way. Set rotation. That's kind of good. That's really kind of good. Hell yeah, that's really good. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to normal summon this, right? And then I'm going to pop it. And I'm going to set rotation. For, uh, for another Dragonic Diagram and pop this. So that'll work. Well, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to stall for for a little bit. Because I'm not going to go straight for Union Hanger. Um, that's that's the thing that like you would expect to be the, the course of action with the set rotation. But no, I'm going to instead... Um, oh, Imperial Order! So you have that card. Alright, well I'm getting too owed. I'm 100% getting 2 owed here. This is such a problem. <laughs> I'm getting 2 owed by this Blue Eyes deck. This Blue Eyes Gofu Level Leader deck. Odd. Um, what an odd thing to lose to. And the thing is, like, Blue Eyes isn't even doing anything for his deck. This is such a weird deck. It's Blue Eyes Synchrons. Blue Eyes something. I don't even know what to call it. Blue Eyes Synchron? <laughs> I don't know what to call this deck. Uh, Blue Eyes Eater? I don't know. Blue Eyes Synchron is probably better for a video title, but re regardless. I am uh, losing to it, and the only thing the Blue Eyes seems to have done is been a uh, has been a extension engine of, like, drawing. That's all it seems to have been. <laughs> um, that's kind of irritating. Only slightly, though. Only slightly irritating. But you know what? Fuck it. It's a video. So it'll be done, and it'll be dusted. And this is probably going to be the last video that I play this ABC Draco deck during as well, considering that it never wants to behave on camera. Like, I'm not even joking. I play this deck for hours, and this deck is great, because you want to open, like, multiple field spells and a monster. And there's so many of those field spells for you to open. Turns out I just can't open them. Not what I'm trying to film. Kicks me in the ass every single time. But, okay, so this Mathematician is sending Jet Synchron. He can summon the Jet Synchron back. <laughs> I don't know exactly what's... Discarding a Jet Synchron, okay. Um, let's see... Yeah, so summon this back. He can Synchro into four. What are you going to make, like Herald of the Arclight? That would kind of piss me off even further. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Alright, so now I'm dealing with this. Shoot me in the face, please. The only thing that I could lo do, the only thing that I could draw into, would be a B just to kill this. Or not a B, an A. It has to be A. I have to normal summon A, or. Silver Gadget would be too small because this lowers it by 5. So it'd be a thousand. Gold gadget and uh, and A are the only cards I could draw. But I draw another spell. All right, sure. Uh, you know what? We're not surrendering. We're we were we were never. No, we are. We we were we were surrendering. We we are surrendering right here and right now. I have I have no out to this in my deck right now. I have no out to what I've got. I have no out to what is on the board right now anywhere in my accessibility pool. And that's insane. Gofu plus Mathematician or Armageddon Knight into Link Spider or not into Link Spider, into Level Leader actually seems like it could do some potent things. I've literally 
Never seen anyone try to play that out in Link format. And apparently, it makes Crystal Wing, Clear Wing. Um, apparently, it makes Deco Talker, Crystal Wing, Clear Wing. While drawing with Formula. And while discard and while drawing a card off Coral Dragon. And then the Coral Dragon can destroy a card in the process. So that seems like something that can be exploited and explored later on down the road. That part's kind of cool. I learned something that I wasn't expecting to deal with today. I thought that, like, Gofu level leader plays sort of died with Master Rule 4. But it turns out, no, they still do things going into Sohaya and doing stuff. I just didn't know what they would have ended with. But seems like this is a pretty clear indication. I think that there might be some things that we could actually expand upon that with. May probably make it better. Uh, because the Excel Synchron play to lower its level seemed kind of suspect. But, I don't know. Regardless, I just got handed... I just got my ass handed to me. And I don't know how to feel about that one. What the fuck ever. Alright. I guess this is the last time I'm going to be playing ABC Dracos on the channel. So, at least not until some significant changes happen in terms of either the format or how things progress or something like that. Something along those lines. Something of that nature. But anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Drop a like if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel videos. If you want to see more ABC videos, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content of various types and forms. But links as always are in the description of my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you want to support my ability to continue making content, if you really enjoy my content, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as it gets you access into you know, rewards for yourself, including access into a monthly raffle giveaway for boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh! product or something of comparable value to a box as well as access into my private Discord server. So if you're interested in any of those reward tiers and want to support the channel, then even something as little as a dollar a month is a fantastic way to show your support and help the content keep on flowing if it's something you want to see more of. So definitely consider that if you're interested in showing support for the channel in some way or form. But other than that, special thanks as always to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else that is currently supporting me over on Patreon this month. You help out a lot more than you may know or understand, and as always, you have my eternal gratitude. But other than that, ah, this one's weird. I, I want it, The only thing that I've gotten from this video is that I want to explore the limits of what Gofu plus Armageddon Knight or Mathematician does. That's all that I've gotten from this. I'm really kind of salty that I lost, but I'm trying to keep a lid on it. But I, it is kind of starting to spew out a little bit, so I might as well end the video now. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching, as I've already said. Thanks for your time. And as usual... Take care. I'll see you in the next video.